Let's create our character. We're gonna to go to Adobe. We're going to open up Adobe Firefly. We're going to think of an ingenious prompt. We're going to go to text to image over here on the left-hand side. Let's go with a badger, a badger. Okay, Let's see visual intensity is in the middle. That is a badger. Let's put it on art. Let's crank up the visual intensity. On the right-hand side here, we want effects to be on all. A cartoon badger listening to headphones, which are red. He is kind and nice and round. Let's see what that does. The more specific the prompt, the better. Oh my gosh, that is perfect. That is perfect. Ooh, it's the first one or the second one for sure. Dang, that's nice. Okay, let's go with the second one. Click it, check it out. Okay, in the top right-hand corner of the one you want, left click it, download it. Okay, now we're gonna open up Photoshop. This is the character we're going to animate later. Where's Photoshop? Come on. Okay, we're gonna go new file on the left-hand side, start a new project. We're gonna go 1920 by 1080, create, and we're gonna go file, open on your computer. I save everything all in the same location. Click on our badger. Okay, we're gonna take our badger and move it into the new project. We're gonna click the move tool on the left. We're gonna hold shift and bring it down to size. Now we're going to finish the scene. This happens in steps. So I'm gonna click on the rectangular marquee tool. Make sure you get a little bit of the edge of the picture and then just extend that to the rest of the checkerboard area. Now we're gonna hold shift and do the same thing on the other side to add to the selection. Just make sure you get part of that regular image there and extend it to the other side. My stomach's growling. Then we're gonna click generative fill and it already knows what to do. Then you're just gonna click generate or you can always go over here to edit, come down to the, that's looking great. Now, if you want to make this right here, the contextual taskbar appear. If it's not appearing, go to windows, go down to contextual taskbar, click that and it'll show up. Otherwise you can do edit and then just go down to Generative Fill. Okay, so that's looking good. One thing that's very important in using Generative Fill on Photoshop is merging layers. So, whoops, leave them as is. We're gonna click both layers. We're gonna right click. We're going to do Merge Layers. Okay, so now we've got one image. If you don't do that, Generative Fill just gets very confused. Okay, so we've got our Badger. I'd like to see him I'd like to see his full body. So we're going to hold shift and change the size down to about half here. Let's do the same thing again. Hit the rectangular marquee tool, select where you think the rest of his body should be, hit generative fill, and let's, for the prompt, let's use fill, fill in the rest of this badger's, of this kind badger's body. The more specific you are with the prompt, the better the better. Sometimes it works great. Sometimes it does not. Sometimes it's frust- Oh, wow. Look at this little pimp. No, no. Nope. But I think pimp was a good idea. Again, the rectangular marquee tool. Select the area to fill in the rest of his body. Just click generative fill once so it knows the area it's working with. Then let's do fill in the rest of the badger's body. The badger is a pimp. Let's see if that's one of the words that are not allowed on generative fill. Come on, do good, do good. Wait, what? No, that ain't it, that ain't it. Oh, that's pretty good though, not great. Oof, that's not bad. He turned it into a girl. Let's just hit generate again, see if it makes anything else more interesting. Wait, oh my God, no. But it's getting better, I think. I think. I don't know. Is that? I want his legs in the picture. So let's do, let's merge these two. Merge layers. So now it's all in one piece. I don't want it to be too small, but shift click, resize. But I want his whole body. His legs would be short though, right? Am I losing? I think I'm losing quality. Let's make it into a smart object so we don't lose quality. Shift click it down. Hit the marquee tool. Hit his legs. Generative fill. Fill in his cute legs with gold shoes. Okay. Oof, I don't think that was a very good prompt. Oof. Oh, wow. Yes! Okay, that's pretty good. So let's merge these two together. 
Here we go, merge layers, so it's all one piece now. First of all, we need badger hands. So those are human hands. Generative fill, this is a human hand. Make it a badger paw. What the heck? What? Oh, sometimes it's so stupid. Okay. okay, let's get rid of that layer. Otherwise, it'll get confused again. Make them badger paws. There we go. Well, we're getting closer. Are you kidding me? That's perfect. That's perfect. Let's hit the lasso tool and let's finish these shoes. Click generative fill. Click generate. Hopefully it'll get the message. It does a pretty good job. Okay, perfect. What's up with this other shoe though? Let's finish that. Click generative fill. Click generate. It's doing pretty good right now. Then we're gonna merge all these layers together. That's good. I don't know about the, the shadow is weird, but which one's matcher, matcher? The light's not great. Okay, that's gonna be the one. So we're gonna click all three of these layers. We're gonna click, right click and do merge layers. So they're all one, boom, wait, nope. I messed up somewhere. Okay, control Z to back up. Okay, we want all of these merged. So all four of them right click and merge layers. Okay, we've got our badger character. So let's fill in the background just for fun. And let's get the background filled in. I messed up the shoes though. That's okay. It's okay if one is kind of messed up. Okay, so let's merge. Oops, let's check out the other option. What was the other option? What other, we got three options here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay, this one he's standing on a road. That does not look bad at all. Oh, wow. Probably gonna, I could save all three of those. Like, let's generate three more. Why not? I've got a thousand credits. And the credits last forever on generative fill. I don't know how they figure them, but I've got a lot. These are gonna be sick, I bet. Oh, look at that. Oof. We gotta export all these. File, export as badger with background one. This is the best one right here. So merge those two, merge layers. Okay, that's all one picture now. Now, what we wanna do is Remove the background. So we're gonna hit select subject on the contextual taskbar for generative fill. Dang, not perfect, but pretty close. We're holding shift to move the board around. We're clicking quick selection tool. We're gonna to make it small. We're gonna get just the edges. Dang it, just a little bit at a time. Otherwise it goes bonkers for you. Everything else is looking good. Maybe a little bit more headphones. Check all the corners, check the edges. That's looking good. Generative fill did good for once. Maybe get rid of some of these shadows. Removing that. Oh, come on. Holding Alt and clicking it. Let's get rid of some of... No! Why did it do that? Stupid thing. I'm just going to leave it. So let's do Select and Mask. And we got to add a lot of smooth to it. Otherwise, if you put an outline on it, it'll be all jagged. That's good. And we're going to do New Layer. Click OK. File. Export as... Export Badger to link with background. Okay, get rid of that. Now let's put the background back on and do the opposite. Select subject, object selection tool, and draw a rough square around him. Hopefully this works. This is where it always gets dicey. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Can we just give it a little click here? Looks pretty decent. We're gonna click it. Not bad at all. Okay, that should be, that's my subject right there. And we're going to do remove. No, dude, let's try remove subject. Perfect. What the heck is that? That's good enough. File, export as, everything goes in the same folder. Export background with linked badger. Great. Okay, let's start a new, new project. 1920 by 1080, file, open. We're gonna do our badger boy. Okay, let's try some more stuff. Let's do elliptical. Choose his face. And let's do give him a very surprised expression. What the heck? That's not surprised. Those are those are disturbing. What the heck? Get out of here with that. Oof. Now let's do lasso tool. That usually works better. Let's just try and make his smile bigger. Make his smile bigger. Come on. Oof, that's terrible. That one's not bad. No, he looks kind of grotesque like this. I like him to be a little bit more kind. Okay, let's try make his eyes happy, but closed. Yuck. Why does it always go grotesque? None of those are correct. Hmm. What else can we do? Make him winking. What the heck? That's just god awful. Oh my god, it's not working well. Put this paw behind his back. That's not even close, dude. Some of those aren't bad, but 
I like the original one better though. What is that? Marquito, make the eye green. Those look bad. Get rid of that layer. Well, I'm burnt out. That's how you make your character. I'm gonna click save to save the project. Yes. Let's see, new badger save. Dang it. 